Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2022 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis Welcome! So today we'll be talking about Kosovo's representative to Miss Universe 2022 and also please stay tuned because at the end of the video we will be putting Kosovo in our current list of favorites and we'll see where she lands in that list of favorites for Miss Universe 2022. Now before we talk about Kosovo's representative this year, let's talk about the last the performance of Kosovo in the last 10 editions of the pageant. So that's from 2012 to 2021. So from those years, Kosovo was able to place once and that was in 2012 with Diana Avdiu who finished in the top 16. This year they just crowned Roxana Ibrahimi. Also, in order for us to follow her journey to the Miss Universe 2022 pageant, don't forget to follow her on her Instagram account which is at Roxana Ibrahimi and I will be posting the Instagram handle at the bottom part of the screen. Now for Roxana, she's actually 21 years old. She's a professional model and is currently a dentist at the same time. For the national pageant performance, her swimsuit performance was a bit underwhelming to me. And add on to that, she slipped a little while doing her entrance. So this is something that she really needs to work with. Although I appreciate that she's very confident with the camera, especially when the camera focused on her face. I really love how she knows how to work it. That's going to be her advantage, but the walk really, really needs some more work. For the evening gown, I am not sure if it's with the choreography or the pace of the music, but it didn't give that much impact to me. And performance-wise, and I am using her performance as a basis here, which is, of course, she will be competing with, I mean, at Miss Universe, I seriously wanted her to push for more and do some intensive training if she really wanted to get a placement because her walk during the evening gown was just okay-ish to me. As I know it will be a bit hurtful for me to say this, but it was a bit of a forgettable performance and I'm, I am sure that she doesn't want that. So for improvement purposes, I really hope that she works on her performance. Not only on the evening gown, but also on the swimsuit. Because that would really boost her. At least give her some higher chances in the competition, okay? I actually browsed her social media and I was actually loving how she looked and loved her in many I loved her in many of her photos. But her striking beauty, let me just I'm I i do not want to break this up to I don't want to break this to her, but even though I felt like she's very beautiful. In the era of IMG, her striking beauty will not save her. Her beauty will not give her a placement if she will not deliver performance-wise. And I am talking about Miss Universe caliber of a performance. And I really wish we'll see some more surprises in the future because to be honest, I have so much love for Kosovo. It is one of my favorite Miss Universe countries. They gave us Gona Dragusha. They gave us the amazing representative in 2008. The amazing representative with Diana Avdiu. And there's really a lot of previous amazing representatives from Kosovo. And I really hope they could make a comeback this year. And I would be happy if this is the woman that will give Kosovo another placement in the pageant. But, again, but then again, let me just say, if she really wants it, she needs to prove it by giving a solid performance. If she could triple, quadruple her performance during the national pageant, do it. If that will give her the placement, let's do that. Because I'll be the first person to cheer if Kosovo will be called in the first spot. Okay, so good luck to her. Having said that, Kosovo is a 20th candidate that we have reviewed and here's my current ranking for Miss Universe 2022. I'll put Kosovo at number 16 as of the moment. 
15 Albania, 14 Korea, 13 Malta, 12 for Croatia, 11 for Mauritius, 10 Guatemala, 9 Ghana, 8 Dominican Republic, 7 Indonesia, 6 for Panama, 5 Curaçao, 4 for Mexico, 3 Venezuela, 2 Philippines, and my current number 1 is still Colombia. So if you haven't seen my reviews for the other candidates or the ladies that is not on this list, you can go ahead and check on my YouTube channel because they're already in there. So right now, what do you think of Kosovo's chances? Do you think she, she's the one that could bring back Kosovo in the semifinals? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.